bold statements often incite the most profound contemplations. Consider this. The Old Testament God and the ancient Sumerian Anunnaki may be one and the same. A provocative thought, isn't it? But when we delve into the details, the similarities are striking. The Old Testament God, known to many as Yahweh, is a powerful figure, often portrayed with characteristics of strength, wisdom, and at times, wrath. Now cast your eyes to ancient Mesopotamia's pantheon, the Anunnaki, a group of deities with comparable attributes. In the book of Genesis, it is stated that God created man in his image. A similar narrative exists in Anunnaki lore. The Anunnaki, it is said, cross-fertilized their DNA with Homo erectus, resulting in a new species, Homo sapiens. Our existence, if you believe in this interpretation, is the product of an advanced civilization's genetic manipulation. A fascinating notion, isn't it? But the similarities don't stop there. The Old Testament speaks of giants, the Nephilim, who were the offspring of the sons of God and daughters of men. This correlates with the Anunnaki, who were often described as giants and were known to intermingle with earthly women. Now, let's turn to the book of Ezekiel, where the prophet Ezekiel describes a vision of a whirlwind, fire, and a wheel within a wheel. Ezekiel's detailed description of this wheel, with its high and awesome rims full of eyes all around, and its ability to move in any direction without turning, paints a vivid picture. Some have interpreted this as a possible encounter with an Anunnaki spacecraft. The beings Ezekiel saw on the wheel could have been the Anunnaki themselves. Ezekiel's vision, seen through a modern lens, does bear an uncanny resemblance to what we might call a UFO. The way it moved, suspended in the air, and then landed on the ground, mirrors many contemporary UFO sightings. In conclusion, the Old Testament God exhibits many characteristics that parallel with the Anunnaki. Just as the Anunnaki were not omniscient, the Old Testament God too had flaws, often displaying human emotions such as anger and jealousy. It's important to note that when the Anunnaki supposedly first landed on Earth, there were no organized religions or biblical texts. This is not to say that the Old Testament God and the Anunnaki are definitively the same. Instead, it's a testament to the overlapping narratives that exist across different cultures and times. It's a reminder that our understanding of the divine, the extraterrestrial, and indeed our own origins, is ever-evolving and open to interpretation.